going on there folks good afternoon good friday afternoon it's the earth master here on this first day of july i can't believe it holy smokes 2022 is the date about 12 17 p.m california time latest quake shows a 1.6 earthquake here into the area of southern california just coming into the earthquake 3d globe all right let's go ahead and jump right into it but first i really want to cover a um little article that the folks put out stand by for just a second in regards to the dust uh, ash the rock fall that's kind of going on up around the uh, there we go get that back up there right around the Mount Shasta area this article was actually put out a couple days ago someone sent this to me in an email thank you very much for sending that to me of course I've known that uh, about this activity since I went uh, before I went up there and then I kind of got a bird's eye view of what's going on up there and there's definitely some rock slides loose sediment it's a very steep terrain type uh, environment up there and that's that's what we're looking at right here folks definitely some uh, some stuff being kicked around due to the melting of the glaciers uh, looks like uh, Bolum and the Hotlum glaciers okay so this is from the Lake Shastina fire department uh, we have been getting a lot of questions about the appearance of smoke on the Shastina side of Mount Shasta. I recently hiked up to the 7,000 level to get a better view. This is blowing ash dirt from the Bolum and the Hotlum glaciers due to some recent significant erosion at the glacier level and very high winds. This material was kicked up and blown around. So, I mean, this guy went over and uh, just got a bird's eye view of it. That's a little, yeah, it's, it's pretty close. Uh, but with my zoom camera, I had no problem zooming up into this little gorge, this little canyon up there, seeing all the rock falls. And uh, it does continue for quite some time, folks. It could be days, uh, if not weeks, before that uh, kind of comes to a halt. But either way, it's getting warm, warm up there. Things are melting. Things are settling. And you get the rock fall events that kind of look like Mount Shasta is active. It's active in terms of, well, weather erosion and, and natural... Uh, activities but as uh, far as volcanic processes go not happening yet no doubt one day it will be okay earthquake activity what do we got here let's go ahead and jump into the west coast real quick I figured I would share that with you guys there's still a few folks that are questionable saying that uh, you know that event there's no way rock slides can go on for days well actually they can uh, when you got continual slow melting of uh, uh, an erosion uh, with the glac glaciers there, it, uh, it it happens. All right, west coast. Where's that 1.6? Looks like a query blast down here, popping up around the Corona area. Um, latest explosion, I guess. Here, query blast on the map. As far as recent earthquake activity goes, uh, there's not a whole lot of recent within the last hour. A little activity up here around the Owens Valley fault zone. Let me zoom in here a little bit and point this out this one came in last night uh, right around bedtime I was up a little late last night around midnight or so a 3.2 came in to the area of the Owens Valley now this Owens Valley fault spring or Owens Valley fault system uh, seen a rather large earthquake back in 1872 it looks like it's kind of on the northern end of that specific fault system but they have been having some earthquake activity up here of course along with the Ridgecrest movement uh, some aftershock sequences down there from the 2019 earthquakes and also some activity around the Long Valley Super Volcano. So this whole area has been uh, seismically active around the Owens Valley and as I mentioned up here around Mammoth Lakes, Long Valley Super Volcano. Looks like the swarm has almost completely died off in terms of uh, any type of earthquake activity. Uh, and I said it when it kind of kicked up that these things come and go. And uh, this one kind of lasted for a little while, right? Uh, I don't know the exact number of quakes. Let's see if we can get a tally uh, with this swarming. We did have a little bit of migration here to the south. Looks like uh, looks like a, about 93 earthquakes or so in the tally. Uh, let's go back the last 30 days. There may have been a couple days that we missed. Uh, yeah, it looks like we missed a couple days uh, in the week process. So 372 earthquakes. Now that's a pretty good, pretty good moderate size swarm. There's been swarms in the past where they've been well above this number. But uh, as you can see, the listing today only has one earthquake. And uh, that was actually from yesterday afternoon, 0.1. 
Either way, we'll continue to keep an eye on it. Uh, one earthquake outside of Mammoth Lakes here, 1.1. Um, let's see what else we got. Some movement throughout Nevada, although things kind of calming down on the West Coast. Doesn't look like it, at least over the past few hours. Uh, last night, there was a little bit of movement up here in the Utah or the uh, northern Nevada area, 3.2 coming in. Looks like near the uh, Black Rock Range, a couple of fault systems that run through here, and some not showing out there in the desert of Nevada. Uh, as far as the whole regional west goes, things just kind of uh, tapering off uh, right now. Seems like that's kind of kicked up, or uh, uh, lack of activity has been uh, ongoing overnight. Not a whole lot of earthquake activity, new earthquake activity to report along the western states there. Same for Texas and Oklahoma, New Madrid zone, uh, pretty quiet out here. Let's check out South Carolina. By the way, on the Earthquake 3D stream, the live stream, I do, uh, I did include a um, seismograph from the South Carolina region. Uh, it's a station called New Hope, South Carolina, a BHC station monitoring uh, earthquake activity out there. So, just to keep a kind of keep a bird's eye view on the raw data coming in from the seismographs. I know it does take the USGS a little time to produce some earthquakes. So it's nice to know, nice to see uh, when we got uh, some earthquake activity kicking up out there. Uh, looks like uh, this morning time frame and overnight a few earthquakes here in the one range. We even had one at a 2.1 level uh, earlier this morning. So things still kind of kicking up out here. And don't forget we have that major fault system kind of sits down in this region. Uh, so seismically active indeed out there along the east coast. Alaska, not a whole lot of activity, although this is very typical for the subduction zone up here along the Aleutian Trench. Quite a few microquakes throughout the region. What is gone quiet is over here, once again, Mariana Trench, Japan. Uh, well, crazy. Very quiet. We have seen a little bit of push of movement to the west here with some activity out along the plate boundary in between the Himalayas, the India area, uh, Bangladesh, all just aside from that, it's pretty quiet around this region. Just one 4.2 within the last hour down through the Indonesia area. A couple small quakes as well. Looks like um, one earthquake here in Iran. Nothing significant going on yet around the swarming area that we had noted down there over the last few or last couple weeks, I should say. This is only a week time frame, but there was a lot more than this. Uh, quite a few fours and fives in the mix out there. Uh, the Atlantic Ocean, all pretty quiet from north to south, it looks like. Nothing major going on. South America, about the same. I know we've been seeing a little swarm of activity here. From about Columbia northward into the Middle America Trench, uh, a lot of threes and whatnot kicking up here on the EMSC model. Uh, the Puerto Rico region uh far as earthquake activity goes looks uh looks like most of the swarming confined here to the southwestern edge of puerto rico some of this activity older movement from yesterday uh, but far as recent activity today just kind of spotty out there in that region yellowstone national park looks like they're going to be opening the north entrance up here uh sometime in july i think the i think i read the first week of july so they got the ball rolling with uh, fixing the roads and whatnot due to the uh, extreme flooding that took place last month. Uh, it looks like they were really quick on it. I know it's their busy season, making a lot of money, uh, and I'm sure they'll be happy to get that thing open full time. Uh, let's see here, Yellowstone National Park, not, uh, not showing a whole lot of activity here. Last Yesterday we did see a small, little small microquake sequence up here. Uh, but overall, things just kind of very mellow there around the Yellowstone area. The trimmer map from last night only showed about eight epicenters up here around the Medford area. Underneath Medford, I should say, down there into the Cascadia subduction zone. We'll check out the Newberry Volcano in the Oregon area just to get a visual of uh, their seismograph station. A lot of times we'll just show Mount Chas or uh, Mount Lassen and whatnot. Not Mount Lassen, but uh, Mount St. Helens. So we're going to just pop around from each volcano on these updates to so keep an eye on them. Um, not a whole lot of earthquake activity. It looks like some wind events picking up here or some adjustment on the seismograph stations. But as far as uh, earthquake activity goes, I'm not seeing... Well, there's a couple on a previous UTC day. This was from yesterday. Looks like a couple small microquakes. These are, these are earthquake signatures right here. Uh, looks like some S waves from the... 
uh, six pointer that struck in the uh, Philippines there um, early yesterday. So see these S waves, the surface waves kind of kicking up in a wavy fashion. But yeah, it looks like there was a little bit of earthquake activity here at the Newberry volcano, just some very small microquakes. And I'm not for sure if they mentioned that here on the PNSN network. Looks like the last earthquake reported was on the 26th. So some of that activity not being um, put here on the map. Uh, what else we got? Uh, space weather activity has been kind of quiet, folks. There's not a whole lot going on, unfortunately. Uh, I think maybe any possibility that we might have could be from uh, 3046. That's kind of round in the bin out here. Looking at the uh, little bit different view here. There's, like I said, there's some sunspot development, but man, there's not a whole lot. <clears throat> Almost lost my voice there for a second. Again, uh, green across the board, far as the solar flare threat goes and the uh, geomagnetic forecast all looks pretty quiet. Uh, we do have a little bit of coronal hole activity that will be facing towards the earth, although a northward tilt a little bit on the northern side of the uh, sun. And uh, there's a couple coronal holes uh, we'll see how this one um, develops as it advances towards us into position. It might provide us with a little bit of uh, uh, unrest come in the few next few nights, probably after the July 3rd time frame. That's right, we got July 4th coming up. Woohoo! Can't wait. I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan of fireworks. I love, uh, I love the whole show and uh, lighting off some fireworks with the kids. Should be a fun time. Three day weekend, right? Uh, what do we got here on the live <clears throat> data? Looks like a little bit of density uptick here um, over the last few hours. Solar wind stream though, it's been pretty low, but it's really not making a difference on any of the uh, solar weather charts up to about two, which is not that big of a deal as far as the KP index goes. All right, guys, so I will be back a little bit later tonight. Uh, someone mentioned here on the live stream about uh, um, kind of going over these graphs, these seismograph stash, uh, seismograph <laughs> graphs, and uh, what, you know, kind of what to look for in terms of earthquake activity or volcanic tremor, harmonic tremor. And uh, each station is, uh, is a couple different channels. A lot of them uh, are vertical, horizontal displacement. As uh, far as the shaking goes, we'll kind of go over that a little bit more uh, in the update video tonight. We'll give me something to cover and we'll look at uh, the differences in harmonic tremor and earthquake activity and surface waves and P waves. I, I know a lot of people want to know about it. It's, a lot of people do know about it and there's a lot of people that don't. So we'll kind of go over that once again tonight in, the, in our update. So don't miss that right around. Uh, we'll probably do probably go for about seven o'clock my time uh hold on a second here might be a little bit later because i did have to put out a live stream notification tonight or this morning because the live stream went down so probably going to do the update a little bit later um Yeah, we'll probably do it in between, uh, we'll probably do about 8 o'clock West Coast time here uh, for tonight's update. If something changes, I'll uh, make a notification there on the live stream, but uh, we'll shoot for about 8 o'clock and uh, get that ball rolling. All right, guys, have a good day. Stay safe out there. We will chat at you a little bit later tonight. Peace out, everyone.